Okay, guys, um, this is Jerry, your former maths teacher, um, coming back to you with uh, some online stuff as well to um, to uh, beat the virus. So hopefully you stay with me on this. Hang on, let me see if I can zoom in here. Oh, that's not good. Okay, that's better, is it? Is that better? Yeah. And what I want to talk to you today about is um, the matrices stuff, the matrix multiplication. Remember, we talked about this on Monday, on the first day, we said that matrix addition and subtraction is fine, but really the action uh, in matrix land occurs with multiplying matrices together. And there are two main types of multiplication that you have to do. So the first multiplication that you have to do is square by square, which gives you another square. We'll do some examples in a minute. So that's the first type of multiplication that you're going to have to do. So a square would be a two by two or a three by three or a four by four. And similarly here, this square matrix has to have the same dimension as the other one, of course, before you get multiplication. So this is a two by two, you get a two by two. And if this is a three by three, you get a three by three, you get the picture. The other type of um, matrix multiplication is when you're multiplying a square matrix multiplied by a vector. And when you do that, you get a vector. And that's really important as well. So there are the two main types of matrix multiplication. Okay, so I'll do a few examples here. Now it's, it's much harder here in terms of dimensions here because the dimensions for vectors and squares um, are not identical. So we'll talk, I'll just do a few examples and um, show you how easy this is. Well how, well, well, how easy it could be once you've practiced this. Now, at the end of the session, this is the first part of the lecture. I'm going to stop and I want to ask you to um, look at the examples or the, the, um, the questions that I've posted up online in on loop. And you should do those questions before you go on to part two, because it's really important that you practice this. That's it. It's just, just practice this. That's all this stuff is. Okay. Now, whenever you're multiplying um, um, uh, matrices together, the number one rule, the, the rule that you have to apply is this. You're multiplying rows by columns. Sorry. That's just to get columns. So you should be multiplying here. So you're going to be multiplying rows by columns to get other columns. Oh, again, this is the column here of the product matrix. So I know I'm making this an awful bags of this, and this sounds a lot more complicated than it is, but it's, it isn't that actually complicated. So what I'm going to do first now is I'm going to do some examples. Then, as I say, I'm going to stop, and then you must practice this stuff, okay? So the first um, example here we're going to look at is um, matrix A. Let's call it 2011. And suppose we have a matrix B, and it's 1, 3, minus 1, 1. Okay, and what we're going to do now is we're going to multiply A by B. So what you should do whenever you get asked to do multiplication, matrix multiplication, is you should write the matrices down. So A is two, zero, here's one, one, and B then is one, three, minus one, one. Whenever you do matrix multiplication, just underneath it or somewhere close by, write down the dimensions, two by two, and these two here are the same, so we can multiply. We talked about this on the first lecture. And so what you should be getting is the two outer numbers. So what we're going to get here is we're going to get a two by two matrix. And when you first start doing matrix multiplication, it's probably very important to actually, you know, put little lines here in the product matrix to show what you what you what you what you want to get. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to multiply rows by columns to get columns. So to get the first column of the product matrix, you need to multiply the rows by the first column of the second matrix. So what I'm going to do now first is I'm going to look at this column first. And I'm going to multiply each row of the first matrix by that column. So the first one here is 2 by 1 plus 0 by minus 1. OK, so you're going to multiply rows by columns. OK, so again, rows by columns on this entry down here is 1 plus 1 plus 1 by minus 1. OK, so to get the first column of the product matrix, you need to multiply the rows of the first matrix by the first column of the second matrix. OK, now there is a reason why matrix multiplication is as daft or as seemingly complicated as it is. And we'll see this when we start talking about simultaneous equations. But for the moment, I just want you to try and see if this just get this these rules into your head. OK, to get the second column, 
of the product matrix, what you need to do now is you need to focus on this column. Okay, and again, now I'm going to multiply rows by the second column to get the second column of the product matrix. So it's two by three plus zero by one. And the next one then is one by three plus one by one. Okay, so hopefully I haven't made a mistake there. If I make a mistake when I'm doing this, you need to email me and tell me I made a mistake. Um, um, but don't. All right. So then finally, when you do uh, the addition here, it's two by one, which is two plus zero, which is two. One plus minus one, which is zero. Um, three plus one, which are three plus zero, which are six plus zero, which is six. And then three plus one, which is four. And if you want to, you don't you can leave it as this, that's fine. But because you've got a common factor here of two in each of the entries here, you can bring the two outside if you want to. You don't have to, and you can have one, three, zero, two. But you don't have to do that. That's really optional. And uh, we've talked about this in the first lecture, about who could do this. So you know who you are. Okay, so now we've multiplied A by B. Um, I want now try to do is multiply B by A. Okay, so let me just do that. So B A then is, you write down B, and you write down A. So B A is one, three, minus one, one, and A is two, zero, one, one. And so what I'm gonna get here then is this. So again here, go to the thing. So you're gonna look at, to get the first column here, you're gonna look at the first column here. So it's one by th two plus three by one. One by two plus three by one. The next one then is minus one by two plus one by one. And that gives you the first column of the product matrix. To get the second column of the product matrix, because this is a two by two, and this is a two by two, so you're gonna get a two by two matrix here. To get the second column, you're gonna look at the second column of the second matrix and multiply again by rows. So rows by columns gives you columns. So one by zero, which is zero, plus three by one here. And then minus one by zero, plus one by one. And so when you do the, the um, multiplication there, you get one plus two, which is five. You get zero here. You get minus one here. And I can't read my writing here. So you get one here, I think. That's one. That's minus one by zero. And one by one, so you get one here. Now what you should notice here, folks, is very important in the matrix multiplication, is that therefore AB is not equal to BA. So this is BA here. If you recall the pre first one there, you got A, B, which was 2, 6, 0, 4, and you see there that they're just not the same. Okay, so that's very important. So A, B is not equal to B, A. And that is something that's very counterintuitive um, because in ordinary multiplication, it is um, uh, what's called commutative in mathematics because A by B is equal to B by A in ordinary mathematics in ordinary multiplication, but in matrix multiplication, it isn't. Do not forget this. This is really important and it crops up a lot. And um, so therefore you must uh, be very, very careful. Okay, so that's multiplying two square matrices together. Let me go on and do another one here. I'm going to multiply um, a square matrix by a, um, a square matrix by a vector. So I'm going to, let me do one example where it doesn't work and another example where it does. So let me set that A equal to be one, three, zero, one, 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 and then zero, zero, minus one. And let B, now usually when you're talking about a vector matrix, which is either a column or a row, you use lowercase letters. Now you don't have to, but I'm gonna use that as the convention. So let me just do that. So in this case, let me, let me, let me write down two uh, or three vectors here. Let me write down B, and the first vector is one, zero, one. Let me write down another one then, which is uh, C, right, there's a theme here. Let me write that down as one, zero. And the last one then we call it D. Let me write that down as minus one, zero, one. Just taking as the examples. So these are three examples of vectors. One is a row vector and the other two are column vectors. So I'm going to try and multiply A by each of those. So if you look at AB first, so the dimensions of AB here, folks, are, this is a three by three. This is a one by three. And as you see here, folks, the three and the one are not the same, so you cannot do AB. So that's really important. Now, in practice, when you encounter these in um, engineering analysis, this rarely is a problem, but it could be a problem in the exam. So for instance, so I might just 
just for the sheer hell of it, give you two matrices that you can't multiply and you have the talent that you can't multiply them and show me how clever you are, all right? Um, if you multiply, if you try and multiply AC, this is a three by three, and this is a two by one. Again, these two numbers here are not the same. You can multiply A by C. But if you look at AD, this is a three by three, and D is a three by one, and you can do it because these two numbers are the same. And what you get when you multiply a square matrix by a, 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 a vector column is you get another column. Okay, so let me just do that here. So you get one, three, zero, one, 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 zero, zero, minus one. And you multiply that by minus one, zero, one. So here's what you get. Now remember matrix multiplication, you're multiplying rows by columns. Now in this, in this case, there's only one column in the second matrix. So you're gonna multiply each row of the first matrix by that column. Okay, so you get one by three. No, it's not. It's one by minus one. One by minus one plus three by zero plus zero by one. Right? So one by minus one, three by zero, and zero by 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 zero. Or zero by one, which is yeah. And then the next one then is one by minus one plus one by zero plus one by one. And the last one then is zero by minus one, which is zero, zero by zero is zero, and you get minus one here at the bottom. So finally, when you do all that stupid calculation, you probably can't even see this because the marker is so bad, stupid DC marker. So what you get in the end here is you get um, one by minus one, so you get minus one here, you get um, minus one plus um, one here, which is zero, I think, and the last one you get minus one, okay? And if you want to bring the minus outside, you can write this as minus one into one, zero, one, if you want to, but this is fine, okay? Now that matrix multiplication, or that particular example here is very, very important because this is typically what you see in, 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 um, in engineering analysis. You're multiplying a square matrix by a column vector of the same dimension, by which I mean, this is a three by three, this is a three by one, you can work it, and, that, and that's a very, very common multiplication. Okay, so you probably will see some of that in the exam, if nothing else. All right, last thing I'm gonna do before um, I'll stop here and then you start working is um, just some stupid notation, which um, uh, I just want to talk to you about. Um, the other the notation is, is this, it's, it's, there's some notation that you see frequently and you need to get kind of happy with this, um, is this kind of notation of a matrix with a square. And all that means is you multiply the matrix A by itself Okay, now usually this notation here, when you talk about squares and cubes and to the power of four, you're talking about a square matrix and it always makes sense. So usually when you're using, when they, you, you have to have this notation. Uh, if you're using this notation, square cubed and to the power of four, A must be square. Now I'm not gonna give you a non-square matrix and ask you to do you know, something squared because you can't do it. That's kind of stupid. I wouldn't do that because I'm just too nice. Okay, but let me just show you what, what I mean. Here's, here's an example. And there's some examples in um, exercises one on loop. So here's an example. So let me just, just do A is um, one, zero, zero, minus one, two. What's A squared? Okay, so what you do is you multiply A by A. So here it is, minus one by zero. It's not, it's plus one by zero, and minus one by two, by one, zero, minus one, two. So again, rows by columns. So one by one plus zero by minus one. Minus one by one plus two by minus one. Okay, so that gives me the first column by focusing on the first column of the second matrix. To get the next column, I'm gonna focus on this one. So it's one by zero plus zero by two, minus one by zero plus two by two. And when you do that calculation there, folks, you'll get one plus minus one, which is zero. You get one, so you get zero here. You get minus one plus minus two, so that's minus three. And you get minus one here plus two, which is four, and that's what you get, okay? Hopefully, that's what you get. So there you are. That's a very, very important little uh, notation. So you've got a square matrix, and if attached to the square matrix, you have this 
a square. It means you take the matrix and you multiply it by itself. That's all it means. And because you, you have the same matrix in your multiplication, it doesn't matter which one comes first because they're identical. A cubed means you multiply the matrix A by itself three times. A to the power of four, you multiply it by itself four times, and so on. And that gives you, um, um, and that that's very important. So what we've done here is really, really important. And it's uh, definitely examinable. You will see this as you go through your engineering careers, or especially education, at least anyway. So why not get on top of this? Now, as I say, on loop, there's what are called exercises one. OK, open that up. There's about maybe 20 questions that you have to answer. The solutions are not the solutions, the answers are given. So what you need to do is you need to do the calculation and make sure you get the right um, answer. And um, we'll um, I'll email you about this. Maybe then if you have any problems, what we'll do is we'll set up a forum next week. Uh, for those who, two or three of you who are actually watching this. And uh, if you have any problems, then you can um, you can email me and I'll answer the most popular difficulties, okay? I can't answer every single student because there's 160 students there. So what I'll do is I'll open up before maybe next week sometime. And if you have any issues, you email me there. And uh, what I'll do then, as I say, is I'll do the, you know, if, if the same problems are cropping up, I will do those problems, two or three problems, um, and put the, put the solutions on loop. OK, so that's what we're going to do. So um, yeah, that's it. And I'm going to stop now. Um, but you don't stop. This is where you this is where you come into your own. So you're now going to look at exercises one and you're going to do them all. All right. It's going to take you a while. It's going to take you maybe about an hour. But bloody well do it. All right. That's it. And I'll talk to you uh, in the next lecture. All right. Bye.